Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have this sexy, dark, vampy, deep, smoky eye to share with you all. I don't know, I was just feeling very sexy, deep, and dark today. So if you guys would like to see how I got this little look, then please keep watching. Oh, and it's going to be mostly Patrick Ta. We love him. So, I'm really excited about this get ready with me today because it feels like I haven't done a traditional smoky eye in so long. Uh, I'm not going anywhere tonight, so <laughs> we're just gonna be wearing this to do our thing and shake some pots around the kitchen. But last month, I shared with you guys this beautiful sleek Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette, and I really, really loved the look that I came up with. I will, of course, link that video down below. So this month, I wanted to do a traditional smoky eye, very glam with lashes and all the fanfare, just because I normally don't put on that much makeup. Let's see what we come up with. I never planned these, so we just wing it. And I should do some winged eyeliner today, but I'm not ready. So let me get you guys a little closer. First, I'm gonna start by priming my lids, as always. Now, I have gone ahead and done my eyebrows. I will link that tutorial down below. I'm a bit nervous about this, <laughs> you guys, because smoky eyes, they're not hard, but I don't do them very often. So let me give you guys another peek at the palette before I start. Actually, I don't know if I can do a smoky eye with this palette. So this is what the palette looks like. I thought there were more darker shades in the palette, but there aren't. But you know what? We're gonna go with it. So I'm gonna start with the shade called Mother. It's like a light brown transitional shade type of color. And I'm gonna start with putting this in my crease area just so that I lay a good foundation. You guys know I'm all about that. I definitely need to clean my brushes. <laughs> Have any of you guys tried those um, electric brush cleaners where you just uh, place your brush in and it actually like spins it and dips it in and out of water? I definitely want to get one of those because not to say that like ugh, washing brushes is so tiresome, but it is a rather time intensive task that like nobody likes doing, let's face it. So what do you guys and gals want to chat about today? What is going on in life? Are you guys ready for summer? I can't wait. I mean, not that it means much. <laughs> like, I am getting out a bit more, but I don't know. I'm still not ready to like mix and mingle with everybody. I don't know how this smoky eye is gonna work. Um, I'm going to take the next shade that is called Absolutely, and I'm going to put that on my lid. I really thought this uh, palette had more deeper tones, but they're really all very neutral and not so deep and smoky. Smoky, but you know, we're gonna make it work because I really want this whole look to be mainly Patrick Ta because I have a lipstick. It's my favorite lipstick, by the way. So let's see what we can come up with. I probably should have thought <laughs> about this more in depth, but we're winging it. We're just, we're winging everything. We're winging it. It's, it's gonna be okay. So let's see what's going on in my life. I'm excited for my birthday next month. Once again, not that it means anything <laughs> because we are still in these Porsche Panamera times. And like I said, I'm still not ready to be around like a lot of people. I'm just excited to be outside, to have Sunday fun day more, to dip in my pool. Like, I don't know. It feels like it's been winter forever, winter and spring. Where are the fun summer vibes? We're ready for that. Okay, this look is already looking kind of cute. <laughs> Let me build it up just a little more. I'm gonna concentrate this color at the base of my lash line and then blend it going up. Oh, update. So my last uh, get ready with me makeup tutorial, what have you, I shared that Selena Gomez Rare Beauty Lip Cream, whatever that product was that I hated. Now, here was my conundrum. The shade was absolutely beautiful. You all loved it on me. I just really hate the formula. I'm not a matte lip cream kind of gal. Although I did purchase last month the Makeup by Mario Matte Lip Cream. Now, the formula of that is really nice. I wish I had it with me, but it's in my bag. Um, the 
the Rare Beauty ones, I'm just not into, so I did return it. Will I try other things from Rare Beauty? I do want to try other things. I'm not gonna write the line off completely, but girl, that uh, liquid, moussey, whatever the hell that was, I hated it. I'm gonna go into a different shadow now. I don't think this will make a difference. The shade Transition, and it's very matte. I'm just going to concentrate that in my outer crease area. I don't know what this is necessarily gonna do. Oh, it's deepening it a little bit. Y'all, where am I going tonight? Like, I, <laughs> I hate to waste a face, but you know, it's a random Wednesday. Like, what would I really go do? That's the thing, you guys are gonna see, like for those of you all who started following me more recently since the Porsche Panamera, I am a true homebody. I like going out, but only like really if I had it my way once a month. I like being at home and even when I go hang out with other people, I would rather be like at someone's house and just doing something low key. So even though I'm excited to live life more this summer, um, your girl still wants to be inside. That's not gonna change. I always say, in my mind, I'm like 43 years old because the things that people my age like doing, it's fun and I can do it, but I just wanna cook a nice meal, feed somebody, have fun at home. I don't know, I'm different for sure, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm just using this shade to kind of deepen up my outer V and I'm really just wiggling the brush back and forth in like windshield wiper motions. Okay, so pretty much I like the way this looks. I think once I have on lashes and the whole base of my face, it will come together really well. I do want to put a shimmery pop in the inner corner. I'm getting another fluffy brush and I'm going to use the shade Lady and we're gonna put her in the inner corner. Oh, it's so pretty! <laughs> Y'all, what is wrong with me? I'm just so happy. That's one thing I have to say. And I have to thank you guys every time we do these videos because you guys know I'm so thankful and grateful. You guys have really brought me back to my love of makeup. This channel started as a beauty channel purely. There were no vlogs. It was makeup, skincare, product reviews, everything like that. And I think I got a little away from the makeup and you know, the, the way I was able to express myself creatively once I stopped working in the beauty industry. And maybe one day I need to do a whole video about like my experience working at Sephora and what that was like. And I think now I'm starting to realize that it, it wasn't a necessarily bad experience, but it kind of jaded me and got me away from the fun aspects of like loving beauty. That's one thing that I do want to talk about maybe one day. Just because something is your passion doesn't mean you have to necessarily do it in that way, you know? Working at Sephora was not about the love of artistry, creativity, and your love of beauty. It's about sales. And if anyone knows me in real life or if you've ever worked with me, you know that I do not care about sales. This is why, like I was a good employee because like I know what I'm talking about, darling, but I don't care about sales. I want people to be happy. And so I was definitely not meant for that position, but I did love the beauty aspect of it. That's why I was so glad I had that job because it's good to know that something can still be a passion of yours, but in that avenue particularly, it's not necessarily for you. And that for me was that experience because I wanted my clients to be happy. I didn't care that I didn't sell $500 worth of makeup forever eyeliners that Saturday. That just wasn't of concern for me. <laughs> And I know people probably thought it was so weird that like I didn't care, but I am a true psychologist by trade. I care about you more than like a sales goal. Like girl, come on. I could give two shits about that. But anyway, uh, let me know if you guys would like to see a video all about that experience um, because it was quite eye-opening. But overall, I really did enjoy it because like it's fun being immersed in the things that you're really passionate about. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into that first transitional shade and I'm just gonna blend out this top portion of shadow. We are pretty much done with the eyeshadow look. I just don't want any harsh edges. Y'all, this look turned out so cute. And I think I wanna add some more of this second color to the base of my lash line. 
And that's one thing I really love about a smoky eye. Number one, I think a lot of times if you're not into makeup or maybe you don't feel confident doing a smoky eye, you might be thinking too much into it. Like this look was not hard to do. I think smoky eyes are just all about layering and you really have to be comfortable working with matte shadows because I think um, matte smoky eyes look the best. <sighs> Touching up that outer V a little. I mean, like, who am I, girl? <laughs> who am I? I don't know. I'm a makeup lover, apparently. And then, <laughs> once again, I'm gonna touch up that shimmery lady shadow on my inner corner. Okay, now let's move on to face, I say. I have already prepped my skin with my Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. Now I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury foundation. Let's cover up all these scars and hyperpigmentation. As you can see, she covers up all of our hyperpigmentation and scarring very, very well. But y'all know I'm real and I don't mind coming on camera showing my flaws because they're just flaws. And the way I look at it is we all have them. And I'm okay showcasing my flaws if it means that I help someone else accept theirs. And I get a lot of messages from you all like, you know, thank you for sharing things about your journey, whether it's weight loss, my skin, anything like that, because you've helped me accept myself more. And that's worth it. I think just as women all together, we go through phases where we just feel like, damn, I wish this could be different. I I wish I looked like this, I wish I had this, I wish, you know, what have you. But I just think it's important to realize at the end of the day that you can improve yourself, but it's still so important to love yourself. The other weekend I went out and a group of women sat next to us at another table and like everybody was typical like Instagram baddie vibes and I am not one to be like, oh my gosh, there's something wrong with that. Y'all know, I have a natural body, but if I cared enough to get surgery, I would get it. Like, I just feel like we should do what works for us and what we want, as long as it's something that you want. And um, uh, some of the guys I was with, they were just like, yeah, I still like natural bodies. I like girls with natural hair. And it's like, wow, it's nice to hear men especially say they still appreciate that. Not to say like we all have to look alike, but I just think, it's important to know that you can still be beautiful and feel amazing if you don't look like everybody else. Now that's not to say that every woman in Atlanta looks like that, but um, there's a lot of that here and I love it. Like girl, go out, get your body done, get your teeth done, get your hair longer, cut your hair, color it, I don't care. Whatever women are doing to make them feel more beautiful, as long as they're doing it for the right reasons, I love it. You know? You wanna experiment with things and live life. Girl, live life, enjoy the lunch. Next, I'm going to use my concealer, my Pat McGrath. And I did this very sloppily. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, y'all know I always have a little message for you every get ready with me. And I guess that's the one this month. It's like, enjoy yourself, do what makes you happy. I don't think there's anything wrong with changing your body. I just feel like at your core, like actually who you are, you have to love yourself because you could enhance your body, lose weight, get all these surgeries, and you could still not feel beautiful on the inside. So as long as you're doing things for the right reason, I, I say, girl, get your life. Enjoy it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna let this sit and marinate. What song shall we listen to today, darling? Now that we've had our musical interlude selection, let's go ahead and blend this out. I'm actually gonna start with uh, between my brows because I feel like, girl, what did I do? Like, why weren't you paying attention? It was so sloppy. And I like doing it like this over on the side to get that super crisp line. 
and I'm making sure that I look up when I blend this right under my eye so that I don't get too much creasing. Like I said, I wanna get some things plumped and filled because your girl is aging and my Asian side is coming into play and um, she's not protected with all that good melanin like my black side. So I had to switch memory cards and I didn't want my eyes to start creasing so I did apply my loose translucent setting powder but that's all you guys missed. Now let's do some bronzer. The Charlotte Tilbury Pro Airbrush Bronze. We love a good chiseled cheek. I mean, I know you see that. I know you see it. <laughs> now I gotta listen to that. <laughs> y'all, I really love filming videos. Having a good time chatting with you all. I like any, many, many, more. How many times I know, I know you see it. I'm in this room by myself and I'm having the time of my life. I have music, I'm doing something creative that I love. I feel like I'm chatting with you guys. Like that's why I don't need to be outside cause I like being inside so much. <laughs> you would think that like I'm an only child, but I'm not. I'm kind of putting on my bronzer a little differently also. I used to um, apply it all over the brush and use the full brush to go like this, but I feel like when I just place it on the belly and go like that, I get more precision. I know, you see it. <laughs> okay, so I think that's pretty good for bronzer. I don't wanna go too overboard. <laughs> Let's do some blush. I'm gonna be using NARS Liberty just because the rest of my face is gonna be like very dark and neutral. The neutral. I'm gonna wear a neutral lipstick. <laughs> um, this is gonna add like a pop of color. It's just so pretty. I love it. I know you see it. <laughs> oh, I love filming for you guys. Let's finish eyes. I'm going to put on mascara and lashes, Bite Beauty mascara, and my Eye Lore lashes. I will link the lashes that I'm going to use down below. I mean, do you just see how lashes just like amp things up a hundred notches? <sighs> Future me, let this be your reminder that spend the extra five minutes, apply the lashes. My face just looks different. Like I try not to apply lashes day to day just because it's like for what? But then when I apply it, I'm like, girl, that's why. Because you look so much more beat. I love it. So let's finish off this eye look. I'm going to kind of duplicate what I did on top of my lids to my lower lash line. Let's do the reddish color. Tap off the excess and I'm just gonna line my lower lash line with this. I didn't want to use the really dark one because like this has a little more warmth to it. And I'm gonna make it meet with the corner over there. This is one step that I just think always helps your makeup look a little more done. So for everyone that's like, I don't know how to do makeup, keep practicing. I promise practice pays off. I learned how to do my makeup through watching YouTube. I used to be horrible and I'm still not like a makeup guru, a makeup artist, but it took a lot, a lot of practice. So you guys can definitely do it. Practice really does make perfect. Now I'm gonna apply my mascara to my lower lashes. See how that just finishes off the look? Ooh, I'm here for it. Now I'm going to remove my moles and y'all know I just do this to give the appearance of not having so much makeup on. Not that we are trying to fool anyone because girl, we have on a lot of makeup. And I think the last step before the lip is going to be the highlight. And I'm gonna use Opal because my new NARS is not up here and I don't feel like going to get it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna dust it over the tops of my cheeks. We love a little highlight. Yeah, the NARS and St. Barth 
is a lot better because it's like a bronzy tone. It's okay though. Okay, now for the lips, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Pillow Talk Medium. My Patrick Ta lipstick in Oh She's Single. This is such a great lipstick, my favorite nude. Also, I became a Patrick Ta affiliate last month, so you guys can get free shipping using my link down below, and of course, I'll post that for you guys. Like, look how good of a nude this is. It's just enough pink, just enough warmth, it makes me look like I got my lips done. <laughs> I think I wanna do a little gloss. So this is also the Patrick Ty lip gloss in. She's expensive. She is and she is me. I get told that all the time. But I don't have any problem financing the things that I want, so. Yes, and this is like a little minty. My last step, of course, is my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Now you spray this before makeup application and after. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Missed us down, baby, yes. So guys, this is the finished look. I am feeling very like TLC creep. Yes, not that we are going to creep tonight. But I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. It's so fun doing a smoky eye. If you need inspiration for your next makeup look, do a smoky eye. There's just something about a deep vampy eye with a glossy nude lip that just feels so, so beautiful and sexy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you guys think down below. Have you tried Patrick Ta? Are you going to try Patrick Ta? Let me know. I love you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.